Well, Labour's Shadow Immigration Minister MP Stephen Kinnock joins us from Westminster. Uh, Stephen Kinnock, small boats crossings down by a fifth, a returns deal with Albania, seeing nearly 2,000 people sent back there. Presumably, you have to accept that the Prime Minister is right when he says his plan is starting to work. Well, we've seen that the weather plays a massive part, uh, so a 20% reduction could well have been caused by uh, particularly unfavourable weather conditions in the Channel and on Albanians. 12,000 Albanians crossed uh, to the UK on uh, the dangerous small boats uh, last year, but only 1% of that 12,000 have even had their claims looked at. So I think uh, yet again we're seeing the massive gap between the government's rhetoric and the reality of what's having, looking at what's happening on the ground. Just look at the backlog. It's, it's ballooned from 166,000 in December to 172,000 now. Massive increase in hotels, 47,500 in hotels, costing the taxpayer £6 million a day. So the reality is that the Conservatives have lost control of the asylum system. They're desperately trying to uh, have more gimmicks and press conferences. And uh, as, as Keir Starmer said, it's a bit like Groundhog Day. They should be rolling up their sleeves and getting stuck in to I the mean, job the of clearing the backlog and getting the job the, done. The government would say that the legacy backlog has reduced significantly. He announces two new barges to house migrants, which he says will take pressure off communities where migrants are being housed in local hotels, which has been a source of some tension. The problem for you is that the government looks like it is getting to grips with this issue. Well, I don't know what this legacy backlog thing means, because the backlog is the backlog is the backlog. Uh, there are 172,000 people in the backlog, and it's gone up by, uh, since uh, December from 166,000. In terms of where Labour is on this, it's very clear we have a five-point plan. It is about scrapping the unworkable, unaffordable and unethical Rwanda plan, channelling that money into the National Crime Agency. It's about clearing the backlog by upgrading the seniority of caseworkers and decision makers. It's about getting a returns deal with the European Union because we can actually build relationships rather than destroy relationships with our European partners and neighbours. It's about fixing the resettlement programmes like the Afghan scheme, which disgracefully this government has failed to make work. And it's about getting our aid and development programme working far more effectively in countries which, where there's, which are originating large numbers of, the difficulty of asylum is if you, seekers. So we have a five-point plan. It's not government by gimmick. Is, it's not chasing headlines. It's actually hard graft, common sense and quiet diplomacy. But the problem is it's how, how the plan works with voters, isn't it? Sending people to Rwanda, housing people in barges um, on, and on military bases. People can remember that as a policy. Your five-point plan, you've got to put that to voters. Can voters in the street remember that? Do they well, think that it will, will they buy it? Well, what I think voters will remember when they go to the ballot box at the next general election is 13 years of complete and utter failure. The, the Conservative incompetence on this is just uh, jaw-dropping. Uh, they have processed 1% of the people that came on small boats last year. The backlog is ballooning out of control. They've, they completely failed to negotiate a successor to the Dublin Convention when we left the EU, so we have no re returns. I mean, Sorry to interrupt you, successive but... Home Secretaries who've been more interested in their own leadership bids and in chasing headlines and government by gimmick. You've got an illegal migration bill that Labour intend to vote against. If, you, if, if there is a Labour government in power, will you reverse it completely? Will you scrap it? Well, the illegal migration bill is just going to make everything worse. And by the government's own reports so over will the you weekend, scrap it? it's going to cost £6 billion. The, the Labour Party will never support something that doesn't work, and it will never support something that's costing the taxpayer but £6 will billion scrap pounds it? for absolutely no value whatsoever. We are looking very closely at all of the... Uh, work that we're going to have to do when we take over in government because of the mess that we're going to have to clear up. But it is absolutely clear that we will not be so trying to implement a piece of legislation that just makes the problem worse. But you won't say you'll scrap it if it's already in place? Well, I, what I'm telling you is a, a tantamount to that because we're clear that we cannot implement something that is against our legal obligations internationally and is costing the taxpayer £6 billion and is going to massively uh, add to the backlog. Which Stephen government in Kinnock. its right mind would implement that kind of nonsense? Thank you very much.